friends, fellow beer geeks. I'm Wes, the Craft Beer Geek, and I have another beer review for you. Uh, I have a, had a bunch of calories left over on my uh, daily budget today, so I thought I would pull out a big beer and uh, give a review of it. This is something that's been sitting in the fridge for a little while now, and I've been, uh, been chomping at the bit to give it a try. I've heard a lot of varying opinions on it. Um, this is quite a polarizing beer for people. Um, but it's none other than the Rogue Brewing Voodoo Donut. This is a a very crazy sort of beer. Let me read you some of the some of the ingredients on here. Uh, okay, we have cherry wood smoked malt, beech wood smoked malt, his, hickory smoked malt, um, apple wood smoked bacon. Uh, there's pure maple flavoring. Um, yeah, so a, a lot of crazy uh, smoked malts and, and different flavorings went into this beer. Um, really cool pink painted bottle. Um, comes in at 6.5% alcohol by volume, or, or I'm sorry, 5.6% alcohol by volume. Uh, according to Beer Advocate, uh, Rogue is, is traditionally not well known to... Uh, put the uh, alcohol on their beers and it is uh, listed at 30 IBUs and it's 22 ounce bomber here and or I know this is not a 22 ounce this is a 750 uh, and it cost $12.99 so another one that sort of went above my $10 threshold but it was interesting enough that I had to give it a try at least once so let's crack this open, get it into a glass, and I'll let you know uh, what I think of it. I'm, I'm likely to like this just because I like smoked beers, so this is probably going to be something I would like, but we well, never know. Might be too much. Okay, so this pours out a nice... Uh, very clear amber color. Uh, I can smell maple syrup already. D just, it's yeah, it smells like somebody just ate a ate a stack of pancakes or something in here. Uh, wow, it's really. I'm not even anywhere near the beer, and I'm I'm smelling the maple syrup, really strong. So uh, I don't even have to get up close to this, but I'll see if there's anything else here. <laughs> wow, this is this is insane. Uh, oh, this is hilarious. I've never smelled a beer anywhere, anything like this. It smells like, it smells like, uh, it smells like maple syrup and a little bit of an alcohol, um, a bit of an alcohol, uh, not necessarily a burn, just that, that hint of alcohol is there. Um, Smells very sweet and sugary. I'm not too, I'm not getting too much of the smoke on the on the on the aroma, but just tons and tons of syrup. <laughs> I'm, I'm afraid to taste this, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and give this a taste and uh, see if it tastes like syrup or if it tastes like uh, more than that. So, cheers. Okay. Ooh, wow. Okay, first impressions is not nearly as smoky as I thought it, I thought it was going to be. I thought this was going to be like a Roush beer, like a really smoky beer. Um, but it's really, it does have a nice sort of uh, toasty, biscuity sort of flavor, like a nice darkly, darkly, uh, sort of a darkly toasted Belgian waffle almost um, and the maple flavoring is is there the mouthfeel is light it's not you know it's not like thick like a syrup would be it's it's a it's got a light mouthfeel and I guess it is pretty um, it says it's just maple flavoring so there's there's not maple syrup in here it's just a maple flavoring so it's like a maple extract, I would imagine. So the the sweetness and and everything else is coming from the malts. So, so that's that's quite an interesting feat in and of itself. That it's you know it, it 
gives that sort of syrupy, darkly, richly burnt sort of, uh, you know, nice dark brown waffle um, with some syrup and some butter, and it's really interesting. But yeah, this is pr this is pretty impressive beer. I'm I'm a big fan of rogue beers in general, and. This is definitely something unique. Um, I'm definitely glad I bought it, even though it was above my my sort of above my normal limit for a price for a beer. Yeah, I'm really surprised that with all the different types of smoked malts that are in here, that it's not smokier. Um, it's it's really not smoky at all. You know, I saw. I saw uh, Peter, the master of hoppets, did a review of this, and he was a little bit disappointed with it. And I think maybe he went into it thinking it was going to be a smoky beer, um, like I did. Is I know he loves smoky beers as much as I do, but yeah, this is definitely breakfast in a in a beer <laughs> more than it's not smoky at all. It's just it's a good waffle with some butter and some really good maple syrup on top of it is, is the exact flavor of this beer. Um, but it's got a really light mouthfeel. Um, it is, you know, it's, like it's, it, it's listed at 5.6% alcohol, and I, I would imagine that's about where it's at. It's, this is not a really heavy, sticky, high-gravity kind of beer. It's, it's, it's nice and light, and I would actually like to drink this with breakfast, you know. It's, have some pancakes or some waffles and drink this beer along with it. I think it would, I think it would go quite well. And it makes me wonder if they've tried to do an imperial version of this that's you know maybe eight or nine percent alcohol by volume. It has a much heavier mouthfeel to it. I think I, I think I would like a little bit more mouthfeel to it, just just based on the flavor profile. That it's so, it's so different and it's so such a rich sort of you know. You know, bready, buttery, um, mapley mouth. You know, sort of flavor. You know, that's kind of heavy, really heavy, rich uh, uh, breakfast kind of foods. Um, you know, high in carbs. Maybe you want a, a heavier, richer mouthfeel with the, with the beer. Okay, so I'm getting near the end of this this first glass, and I think I'll go ahead and and give you guys my final thoughts on it in my ranking. If you like pancakes or waffles, you're going to love this beer. Um, don't go into it thinking you're going to get a smoked beer because it is not, it's not smoky. It's a little bit smoky, but it's, this is not a smoked beer. Um, this is, this is a, uh, this is a pancake and waffle beer. This is, that's, that's what it is. That's what you're getting. Um, maple donut. Okay. Maybe I'm getting, like I said, I'm getting more of, of a, uh, a waffle or bait or a um, pancake sort of feel off of this. I'm not getting much in the way of the bacon. Um, I mean, I know that's that's there is there is actually bacon in this beer. Um, I believe I did read bacon on here, and it says applewood smoked bacon is one of the ingredients. So there is bacon in here. I'm not getting, not really getting that. I mean, I'm, I'm sure it's in there. I don't doubt them on that, but I'm not getting much of that. But yeah, if you want to taste uh, breakfast beer, breakfast in a glass, this is this is definitely one to give a try to. I'm gonna give this a nine out of ten. Um, knock it down just just a, a notch, just because I think I would like it to be a little more, have a little more body to it. Um, but other than that, it's good. It's interesting. Um, I give them kudos for uh, trying to brew something like this. It's it's very tasty. Uh, I'm I'm glad I gave it a shot and I really enjoyed it. So nine out of ten for the Rogue Voodoo Donut Bacon Maple Ale. There you go. So I'm Wes, the Craft Beer Geek. I hope you enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed making it. Um, I'm sure you can see I had a good time. And remember, I don't drink bad beers. You shouldn't either. We'll see you next time. Cheers.